Hello, I'm Kul Sharma. Welcome back to smoothblogging.com. This is another part of the how to start a blog video series and this is the part where we upload a favicon. Now what's a favicon? A favicon is basically an icon which appears right here. So suppose when you go to Google, you see this bar up here and just next to Google you can see that there's a small little this G icon okay this is a favicon okay similarly you can see here for YouTube there you can see there's a small icon now you know this is completely optional so if you want if you don't want this icon you, you can just skip to the next video it's not a problem at all okay but if you do then you can just follow the steps in this video because it just looks more professional and it makes your blog look slightly more professional okay so how how do we get this icon if it's a very simple step all you do have all you have to do is just go on this menu just go to plugins and go to add new okay and in the search bar just type in all in one favicon that's f a v i c o n okay and just click on search plugins okay so you can see so the first option which comes here just click on install now you can see the name of the plugin is all in one favicon just click on install now and we'll install the plugin click on activate plugin okay now just go on settings here and click on this install plugin which is all in one favicon okay so you'll see this open up okay Okay, so you can just click on upload here. Okay, now I have created this favicon image for the blog. Okay, and so I'm just going to directly upload this image. Now, you might not have this image because this is a very small image that you could create. Okay, so what you can do is suppose your blog's name starts with c okay or take any letter okay so let's just for example let's just take uh suppose your blog's name is catblog.com okay so it starts with a c so what you can do is just for a very basic favicon what you can do is you can look for an image which has a, a big letter c in it okay once you find such an image all you have to do is that you have to resize that image to a size of 16 by 16 pixels okay that's 1 6 by 1 6 pixels okay when you do that you'll get a very small image like this okay now I have not simply resized a letter image what I've done is I've created a favicon okay I have created this small image that you can see out here okay it says favicon copy right you can see this image I have created this image and you know in my course smooth design workshop I actually teach you how to create a favicon like just like this one and uh, it's it's very simple to do it's, it's probably one of the easiest images to create and I teach you in that course you can check out the link to that course in the description of this video anyway so let's continue doing this and let's click on open okay so you can see that this has come here and just go to the backend settings now and do the same thing click on that image and click on open and you can see it's come here and just click on save changes and just click on save changes here too and you can see that the favicon has come up here right so when I go back to my site and I click on visit site you can see now this is not blank anymore this there's an image here this is the favicon and we've uploaded this image so you can check out my course called smooth design workshop uh, the link is given in the description of this video and where this is just one part of the course where I teach you how to create this favicon. There are other things where I, where I teach you how to create a logo, where I teach you how to create Facebook and Twitter images and there are a lot of other things and I teach you how to create all these images right from scratch. Okay, so you can check out that course is given in the description of this video. This is completely optional if you right now if you feel it's not required, you can just skip 
this step it's just completely fine but this is just to make your blog look slightly more professional okay i'll see you in the next part bye for now